These pyramids are 480 feet tall and 4,500 years old. What was inside this pyramid that researchers sent? A robotic camera inside the pyramid, just to see. At one point, the robotic camera stopped because there was a slab of stone in front of it. Researchers believe that there is definitely some secrets hidden behind this slab, which has been buried for the last 4,500 years. They had to know this secret at all cost. So they attached a drill machine in front of the robot, which made a small hole in that stone slab. Now a camera was sent inside this hole, which saw something behind the slab, which no one had seen for the last 4,500 years. Welcome back guys, to Think Up. Guys, there are a total of 138 tall pyramids in Egypt that have withstood dozens of earthquakes and many dangerous storms over the past thousands of years. However, till today, none of them move a single inch from their place. Among these, the tallest and largest pyramid is called the Great Pyramid of Giza, and the base area of this pyramid is 13 acres. This pyramid is so huge that not one or two, but the entire nine football fields fit comfortably inside it. It is estimated that 2.3 million large stones were used in the construction of the pyramid. Considering that the weight of many stones in this pyramid is 50 tons, if its total weight is estimated, then the weight of this pyramid is 60 million tons, which is equal to the weight of 12 Burj Khalifa. But what was the purpose of building such a tall and majestic pyramid? Thousands of years ago humans did not even have any tools, then how the walls of these pyramids leveled inch by inch, and how 50 tons of stones were cut into a square shape and transported to 480 feet high without any crane, and who were the engineers who built these pyramids, along with earthquake proof and all their sides were precisely set at an angle of 51.5 degrees. You will know all these things in today's video, so let's start. Challenge number one. For many centuries, different research teams were trying to know the construction technique of this pyramid, that how each side of this pyramid was set exactly north, south, east, and west without a compass. Many experts believe that the architects of that time must have first discovered such land, which could hold the weight of millions of tons of stones. After that, the sides of the pyramid were marked with the help of the polar stars. Polar stars are the stars that help to detect the poles of the Earth. Neither a compass nor any optical instrument, with this basic technique thousands of years ago, the direction of this pyramid was set, and that too with zero errors. Challenge number two. The next challenge was to level the 13 acres of land on which the pyramid was to be built. If its level was even slightly out, then this 2.3 million stone pyramid would not have been possible to stand at all. Now to level this land, the engineer of that time had neither a laser leveler nor a bubble leveler. Experts believes that water would have been poured into the construction site by digging pits on all four sides, and then the water level on one side would have been matched with the water level on the other side. The part of the land which is not matching with the water level must have been leveled by cutting it with chisels and hammers. Many experts believe that ancient Egyptians also used this simple tool, which has wood on both sides, and in its center, there is a stone tied with a rope. And if the stone touches the ground, and its rope is on the center line, it means that the ground is perfectly leveled. Challenge number three. Now the direction was also set at the pyramid construction site. The marking had also been done and the level of the ground was also set. Now it was the time to start the construction, for which million tons of weighing and huge stones were required. But to cut these stones, they had neither grinders nor jackhammers. But still, they cut stones, weighing 50 tons and also gave them a square and rectangular shape. 
but with the help of which tool after all? Yes, that was the only tool, with the help of which it was cut. Experts believe that in the construction of the pyramid, the chisel which was used, was not only made of copper, because they also knew that, copper is soft and cannot cut stones. For this, a chemical arsenic was also included in it. These chisels made from copper and arsenic were hammered on stones with wooden hammers, and after many hours of hard work, these big stones were taken into shape. Challenge number four. Now this special type of stone, which is now known as limestone, its cutting was taking place in the town of Torah, 250 kilometers from the pyramid construction site of Giza. Now the issue was about transporting the stones to Giza. Each stone weighed 50 tons, which is roughly equivalent to the weight of three passenger buses and 2.3 million such stones were to be used in just one pyramid. To transport so much weight, neither any animal could work in that era, nor did they have trucks. If this work is done even in today's modern era, then the transport companies will have to face a lot of trouble. Surprisingly, this work was done with the help of laborers and kayaks. Yes, the river between Torah and Giza was taken advantage of, and the stones were loaded into large boats and brought to the pyramid site. Experts believe that this task was not so easy. In the loading and unloading of such a large stone on ships, an army of at least 500 laborers must have been deployed at the same time. Challenge number five. The team of experts who were doing research on pyramid construction had now got answers to many of their questions. But one thing was bothering them all the time that the limestones were also cut. Transportation also took place, and during the construction, stones were also placed one on top of the other. The issue was how the stones would have been carried to such a height. Many experts believe that, it was planned before the construction of the pyramid, either it would have been climbed up through, a spiral track, or in a zigzag manner but it is certain that 50,000 kilograms of stones must have been pulled up with the help of the workers' army. Challenge number six. It was not only about cutting limestones with millions of laborers and transporting such large stones. Inside this pyramid, compartments and many small tunnels were made. Everything else was fine. But one thing surprised the experts and that was the stone used in the inner compartments was not limestone but granite. Yes, granite is a stone that is considered to be the hardest stone in the world after diamond. Even in today's modern era, granite cannot be cut without the help of big grinders. Many archaeological experts from around the world visited the pyramid, but nobody understood how a solid stone like granite was cut so cleanly 4,500 years ago. After all, after many years, experts also solved this mystery. The Egyptians had cut granite so cleanly with a saw that had no teeth. Yes, this saw with no teeth was used to put weight on both sides of it, and it was run on granite, and gravel was put in the middle. Experts believe that it used to take four months to cut such a big stone in this way. What was the purpose of building the pyramids? At the same time how many laborers worked to build these pyramids? And when the robotic camera made a hole in the stone slab inside the pyramid, what was seen inside it that no one had seen in the last 4,500 years? All this, and more, you will know in part two of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this video, and see you in the next amazing part of this video.